Oh, okay, first of all, fix these fix. Apparently my PC is smart enough to know when it's sick and it cures itself. But that's not the point of the video today. So today's a better day, even though a couple of days I've been busy. But I made a discovery. And this is one of those GOMS CRAZY theories. Let's go. So, um, I was watching Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tale. Now, it's not a new movie, but you know I finally had a chance to actually sit down and watch the whole thing. My mom said, oh, we gotta see the credits. I'm like, alright. I mean, it's the last movie. Mm -mm. So, um, in the last bit, spoiler alert, so just skip it if you don't want to believe it. So here's the deal. Um, so in that small trailer of the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie, it shows David Jones sneaking up in Will Turner's little pat crib, you see. Okay? Now you're probably wondering, what's that all about? I'll tell you. See, back a while, who knows when, see, David Jones knew the goddess Calypso. Now, how the hell you meet a goddess, okay? That's fine. You meet her, fine. That can be given to any pirate at this point. I mean, Jack Sparrow should be dead like five times already in the movies. So we're just not gonna, we're just gonna count that as a dismiss, because anyone can be anybody. But the thing is, see, Davy Jones knew how to bind her. Now, if I were a goddess, I wouldn't definitely tell Davy Jones, who supposedly is my lover, well, let's just pretend, okay? But anyways, the whole point is, I would not tell him how to bind me to a human form, okay? So, my theory is that Davy Jones was bound to human form first. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, well, Davy Jones is already human. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You do not get a pet kraken. And I don't mean the, the uh, alcohol beverage. I mean pet squid to follow your command. You don't get to transform your me, you know, people into fish creatures just by sheer coincidence. Mm -mm. You don't command the sea out of sheer coincidence. And the quote of I am the sea, I think it all kind of points to one direction. No band reference, no cut band reference whatsoever. Davy Jones was w once the curse beside it. I mean, Poseidon's trying in the middle of the ocean? Hello? Who else can walk in the ocean? Okay. Who else would know about it? Davy Jones. Would Davy Jones tell anybody? No, he probably lost it. I don't know. Okay, Disney has some weird cliffhangers, but the whole point is, Davy Jones is Poseidon, and since he was cursed twice, first cursed human form, and second cursed, well, you know, a whole movie's point of view. So overall, now both curses are lifted. I don't know why he's still, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's what he originally looked like. I don't know. All I do know is he is Poseidon. I mean, there's evidence throughout the whole movies that he's Poseidon. I wish I had clips, but, you know, this is a phone. This is not a fancy dancy three billion dollar YouTube industry. This is a simple guy with a camera with a little, uh, Noggin on his head. So I'm calling it right now as a quote, calling it told you so. Davy Jones is Poseidon. That's the reason why he knew how to bind Calypso. That's how come he can ban the Kraken and the other creatures. The reason why he started morphing into them? Because they are technically becoming Whoa, what happened to my arm here? Um, becoming one of the sea. So basically fish creatures. Now the reason why they're not undead or dead or whatever. Because that's a whole different category. Okay? We're talking about living. So, even though he kind of talks about the dead and all that, it's dead to an extent. You see, there are some parasites that exist and the ant colonies that make them to zombies. And as you would see, they become one with the ship, one with the crew. That ain't no, oh, coincidence. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. See, that is called absorbing power of souls there. You see, the Flying Dutchman was pretty much a holding vessel of the bodies of the souls that he collected. That were supposed to pass over, yada yada yada, let's just get those references out of the way. The reason why he had to guide them through it is because 
he probably did something he shouldn't have, which probably was the whole revealing how to bind Calypso to human beings and thus create a chamberman. I mean, after all, I mean, if we're going to go based on age, Davy Jones, human-wise, would have been older than dirt by the time that he got to the third core of the Pirates. Basically, the third movie, okay? Because all that shenanigans happened way before. Now, people reference the book about Davy Jones. That is perfectly okay, but I'm calling it for Disney movie references only that he is Poseidon just because how in the hell else does he show up in Will Turner's crib about to get him the Crab Hammer, a.k.a. Crab Hammer egg move here, smacking dad. Yeah. So, overall, crazy theories, David Jones is Poseidon, according to Disney. Have a wonderful day. Ha <laughs> ha.